Hello everybody, thanks for tuning into this video today, I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to do a very different video from what I've done before. So remember how I said in the previous two and a half weeks I was really busy, I couldn't make a video. So in that two and a half weeks, I met certain people and they requested me to make a video about Breaking Bad. So today I'm going to make a video about Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is my second favorite show of all time and yeah, only second to Better Call Saul. Maybe I have a bit of recency bias to better call so but nonetheless breaking bad is incredible the title of this video is breaking bad the goat show question mark and yes it is the most quoted show out there it might not be my personal number one favorite but it is clearly the number one greatest tv show of all time and i'm going to explain some reasons why but uh before i get to that i just want to get through some backstory first how i came to watch this show I first watched Breaking Bad on Netflix last year but here's the thing, I've been hearing about it for so long and I've just been putting it out like I'm not going to watch it. Um, okay, so this show Breaking Bad is the number one rated show on IMDb, it's a um, show that everyone keeps talking about and calling it the greatest and even uh, Hajime Isayama, the person who did Attack on Titan, the manga, he even said that he liked this show. You know, all this would make me interested to watch it, but in the end, I never really got to it. Mainly because the premise of the story that I heard from the others. So people were telling me it's about a chemistry teacher who works with his, one of his past students to make math and to make money for his cancer and his family. And when I first heard that, I was like, um, no way, no way it's going to be that good. But people have been keep on talking about it and things like that because that, okay, the premise of the show was very silly when I first heard it. But since people have been talking about it, I just realized, okay, after many years, I sat down and I watched it on Netflix. And this is what I thought. These are my thoughts and yeah. And yes, this is the most goated show out there. So yeah, okay. So before I start with the reasons as why I think this is the most goated show out there, I just want to say, I'll be talking about Breaking Bad. So there will be spoilers. But um, I will also talk about Better Call Saul and El Camino a bit. But I'll keep spoil. I won't spoil those things. So if you haven't watched them, don't worry. I will not spoil those two. So yeah. So let's start with the first thing, the story. The story in this show is one of a kind. I mean it. Like it is incredible. In this show, the in the plot, things may seem like they are happening at the surface level, but underneath, there's actually a lot of things that's happening that we don't see at all at first. But over the course, we actually see them like. At first, we think that um, Mike is somebody who's working for Saul to do what he wants. But as the show progresses, we see that Mike is actually helping Saul to get Walter to make meth because he's also working for Goose Fring who needs Walt to uh, make meth for him. So everything's not only happening in the underneath surface, but it's also all connected in a way that's so interesting and intriguing to watch. And I really, really love that. So yeah, the story has funny moments. But one particular element comes to mind. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, wire. It has tragedy, it has thrilling moments. Sometimes it even feels like a spy movie. There's great character development going on, character bonds being created. It's a combination of so many things that I love that is so hard for me to not love this show like it is it has so many great things in it and oh my goodness what a show an incredible show Ozymandias the episode with the perfect 10 out of 10 on IMDb is the point where so many of these things that has been building up from the very beginning of the show actually comes together and seeing the outcome happen was just so emotional for me that episode is like one of my favorite episodes of any TV like ever like when all of it comes together it just make, made me so emotional. Like I'm filled with so much emotions. It makes you also questions. It also makes you question things. Like one of the questions I asked myself when I was watching uh, Ozymandias was, was this all worth for Walter? Like think about it. He's been earning money for his family, but in the end, his family rejects his money and rejects him. And again, consequences like, and up to that point, you know, one thing that's been going on was that Walter was getting away with it too easily. He 
can't keep getting away with this. But on Ozymandias, we actually see him pay the price for all his crimes. Even though he's doing it for his family, his family rejects him. That's his price. And it is so emotional to watch the consequences in the show, how they pay out and things like that. And it's just amazing to watch. Also, the foreshadowing in the show. Can I just talk about that? It's, it's incredible in the show. And there's a lot of full circle moments. Something else that Attack on Titan does very great. Full circle moments is amazing in this show as well. So yeah, truly a great. And he also has a perfect ending to any show. Like Felina was one of the greatest ending to any show that I've seen. So yeah, the character. Okay, let's talk about the characters next. The characters in the show are so grounded to reality that I really, really love it. I mean, there's no supernatural thing happening. There's no power system. There's nothing that alludes to anything outside the real world. And I really, really love that. The actors are all incredible across the cast. Some of the characters that we see at the beginning gradually change to become something else and i really like to see it, and i really loved seeing that change but as they change they also retain certain qualities that they had from the big very beginning that made them very likable in the first place like uh, let's take walter for example walter is a chemistry teacher who goes from teaching students making the lives of students better to making math and ruining the people of lives and even killing people so yeah but one thing he retains the most from the one thing he retains from the beginning all the way to the end is that he's doing it for his family. And that's something that stays till the end. And oh my goodness, what a character development he was. And Jesse as well, how can I not talk about him? He went from this character who's a, of course a meth addict as well as a meth, someone who makes meth. He doesn't think things through very well at the beginning. Like he's not the brightest person. He's not the smartest person. But as the car as he progresses, like in season five, we actually see him giving some good ideas. Like the magnet idea he gave that was a brilliant idea by him. We're really talking about two feet of reinforced concrete. Or oh, what about a magnet? What magnet? What about it? So yeah, and he's also the person who, at the beginning, he's very um, how do I say this? Very complacent and things. But at the end, he's actually very accepting of things. And yeah, that's amazing to watch, and it's really incredible. So yeah, I really like that. And another, and one thing that doesn't change about him, one thing he retains is that he has some morals to him as well. Like he would never hurt a child or would even do anything to help and save a child. Like we saw that in the episode where he was in that house where the parents were not very nice and, the son, and their son was not in a good condition and he did help that child. By things like that and of course um, with his second uh, love interest the son Brock he tried to help him as well and things like that so yeah Goose Fring was an excellent antagonist who always plays this 40 chess match I really love that Mike great character um, Saul was a great uh, comedic relief and here's the thing um, in Better Call Saul, Mike and Saul are in the show and they are actually more than what they are in Breaking Bad so yeah, their characters are made better with the help of Better Call Saul but in Breaking Bad exclusively, this is what they are and I really like them so yeah Gail Batsica and Agent Gomez, very tragic characters Hank Schrader, like literally this guy has been through the most struggle in the show like he went from having PTSD to almost getting killed to getting killed because of his brother-in-law so that's oh he's been through a lot let's just say uh, the writing of course incredible and let's talk about the cinematography this show is very beautiful like it is stunning to look at the cinematography is amazing only second to better call Saul like the use of white shots in this show especially when the subjects are very small and then you can see the skyline, the clouds, and below the entire um, environment, the scenery. And it's just so beautiful to watch. I really, really love that. It made the show more cinematic. And yeah, incredible. What can I say? The world building is also incredible. Like In conclusion, this is the perfect show. The goated show. The most goated show ever. 
if you haven't watched it what are you doing go watch it it's amazing it's on netflix right now so go watch it and yeah that's all i have for today if you like what i've what you've seen today go and like this video and subscribe and send it to your friends and yeah thanks for watching